have to be. He's in custody. Yeah, I mean, uh, this place is not. We you cannot yeah, operate. Yeah, it's under uh, current conditions. Yeah, I'm not going to move. Tim was sent to jail today for protecting lands that are belong to all of us as citizens of this country. And it is our obligation to support him in his action. The corporations are in collusion with our government. We're seeing that here today. The judge denied the jury Tim's defense of conscience, his act of civil disobedience, and I'm here to declare this trial invalid because it is not justice. And I, as a neighbor in Colorado, drove here with five friends with no intent to get arrested, no intent to do this. But because of the justice, the injustice rendered today, I am here standing with my fellow citizens because it is my obligation to act in times of injustice when there is a law that is unjust, to bring light and shed light on that injustice, and I am not moving. Amen. And we will not stop until every corporate criminal who has destroyed this planet is held accountable, and the innocent people who defend our right to live on it go free. And that is when we'll stop, not till then. This is not about one judge. This is about a system that doesn't dispense justice equally. Every federal courthouse in this nation is the scene of a crime today. Okay. Ashley Anderson. Ashley Sanders. Ashley Sanders. Ashley Sanders. Ashley Sanders. Chris Myers. No, I'm a citizen. I'm just a citizen from Telluride, Colorado. Are you all from Telluride? We are just like all of you. example of people who are destroying the earth. When that happens, I'll think that there is some aspect of uh, equanimity in, in sentencing. I haven't seen it now, and I don't think that we'll ever see it. Were you hopeful that he was going to walk out without jail time, or at this point in the game is two years? Of, I mean, what, what are your thoughts about that? Well, I, here, here's what I think. I think that prison time for most people is silly. It remains silly, it will always be silly, it will never change from being silly. And as I said in my, my closing remarks, we put more people in prison in America than anywhere in the world, and we look at it as a panacea, we look at it as a deterrent. It has never been a deterrent, it never will be a deterrent, and it never can be a deterrent, because people don't reflect on their own lives when they see somebody else put in prison. It is the greatest underlying fallacy criminal justice system that when you put people in prison, it will stop crime. And that's evidenced by the fact that he said was purely covered by the First Amendment. And I have to recognize that. But I'm going to take him into custody, even though he hasn't been arrested for anything or caused or committed any more crimes because of the state. So you're saying you think his you're saying you think his sentence was, was made uh, was was departure because of the comments he made. Uh, I, I, the judge said that. I, yeah, I mean I don't believe there's any doubt. We expect an appeal in the yeah, 14 days. Probably. You ready? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Liz, thank. You.
like, uh, my, uh, So I'm Cliff Lyon. Um, well, I run One Year Talk, which is the, the biggest political blog in Utah. We broke the story and raised all the money. If you want to publish anything, link it. Call me. Thank <laughs> you.